crew. Getting spit on my own doorstep. Death threats online. You would think I'm talking about somewhere like Detroit City. But no. I'm talking about Ross A. New Brunswick. I started this company to make people happy. To make people's lives just a little bit easier. Many say you can't make everyone happy. But I'm determined to prove them wrong. Okay, I'm not making this for drama. I'm not making this for attention. I'm making this to tell you guys that this is my 16th hour in this tractor. And I feel like none of you guys appreciate what I'm trying to do here. Don't think that I don't care. That's what's bothering me the most, okay? I live and breathe for this. I've spent the last 10 years of my life planning for this moment and I just failed. I just sucked. That's not what I want, okay? I got bills to pay, man, of my own. I started this to go to school and that's all I do now. I'll make it right for all of you, okay? I swear, I'll make it right. What happened that caused so much uproar um, and upset? The way I see it is, it was expectations. Uh, people's expectations were set very high by me. And, you know, we didn't deliver what we said we were going to deliver. Um, and it was the first run, you know, the route times, it was a horrible snow time. It was the worst, physical worst time that a residential snow company could be going out. Um, we had someone call in sick. I had to be in a tractor. We were not able to manage uh, customers' expectations in that regard. And it just started snowballing. And, you know, and, and people on the internet, they just, they hopped on it and they just kept going. And I'm not going to lie, it got to me, as everyone saw in those videos. It, uh, it tore me apart because... I gave this my everything. I live and breathe it. It's all I think about every day. And I, I've maybe slept three hours since that day. And that was last night because I feel like we're ready because it's now or never. And it's, it's time to make it happen. Everyone falls sometimes, but it's how you get up that counts. We are very, very close to hitting these roads. Like I, I, I'm out with the guys getting this sorted, but send to the chat, everyone come to the lot now. It's coming down. It's coming down heavy. Feels like we're about to walk into the Super Bowl. All eyes are on us. It's time to show up and make it happen. It's game time. All right, boys. We royally f***ed ourselves last time. No. We royally f***ed ourselves. Everything that I have done since I was 10 is in all of your hands right now. And we've all shown up here for one reason, and to get it done fast, get it done right. If not, this is like, we're, we're in bad shape. We're in raw shape right now. People don't like us. Let's make them like us. And then things went Hello? from bad Yo. to worse. Yep. Lower stop working, I'm assuming one of the sheer bolts busted. Not, I don't know where any of that Is it, yeah. is it clogged or is it broken? I don't know. I can't tell. Where are you at? Snow removal is just part of it. The other's training a crew. 
Grab you can only train for snow, and it's snowing. And for some of our operators, it's been too much. My shovel's in three pieces, so. Right now, we're in the forge. We're being hammered on. But it's only gonna make us better and stronger. I am Dr. Snow. All right, guys, so that was our first ever TV show pitch that we had pitched last year. Um, we were lucky enough to be partnered with a company called Drawn To It Productions um, that kind of did most of the, uh, well, totally did all of the production on that um, short trailer there. So first of all, guys, if you guys liked that type of content, um, I'm working on deals right now to try to, you know, bring that TV show idea to YouTube. Um, I believe that even the little five to 10 minute uh, segments, they are amazing videos. Um, now, I will say, first of all, that the quality of the content is very low. We were actually unable to get the actual file. Um, that is simply what we have luckily uploaded through our Google Photos. Um, so it is a little bit blurry. All the original footage were, were, was in fact 4K quality. So that footage, guys, it's been kind of, it was uploaded, but then it was, I, I took it right down. Um, it is something that was very, very difficult for me to release. Um, I had a very hard time my first year. Um, so just to be completely open and honest with everybody, um, that story that was, uh, you guys were just watching in that clip, um, that was all of last winter season for me, um, and I'm still recovering from the wounds of that season to this day. So last winter definitely hurt me in a lot of different ways. It hurt my pride. It hurt uh, everything that I'd, I'd taken so many diligent years to build. Um, but you know what? It, it's part of life and it's part of growing. So yeah, I fell down. Um, so last year, you know, we were a big snow removal company. We came in with a boom. This year, we kind of have a bit more of a smaller footprint. Um, we're only running two tractors this year, guys, um, and we are kind of keeping our, our feet beneath ourselves. So I really appreciate you guys um, for watching. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around. Um, that was one of the worst lows of my life, that 12-month that period. It was just, a, it, it was a whole lot. And now coming out of it on the other end, getting back to me, getting back to my roots and getting back into my routine of working on my business consistently and working for it consistently. Um, I just wanted to make the video, you know, I, ju I just wanted you guys to have that chance, that glimpse into the past. It's been a long enough period of time now that I can watch it without, you know, tearing up. Um, some of that stuff in there was extremely raw for me. I suffered from PTSD from it. Um, I still currently do, but I'm a lot better. So I believe that there's a lot to be said for picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, put your head down and keep going. Um, so anyway, guys, keep you guys, keep your guys' noses on the grindstone. Um, whatever you're going through guys, it's going to get better and it's all part of building you into the person that you're meant to be. And I know that sounds cliche, but I never understood it more than I do, you know, right now. Um, last year was one of the worst times of my life and I could not imagine how I could get out of it. And a year later, um, I am in one of the best places of my life. I, I'm very happy. I'm very content. I am, uh, the best me that I've ever been. So there's always an up guys, and guess what? I'm sure that that was just a little bit of the down, and I'm sure that there's gonna be even more lower lows. But if one thing the last year has taught me is that no matter what, we'll pick ourselves up, we'll dust ourselves off, we'll keep going. So I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll keep any more of your time. Thank you guys so, so very much. And um, yeah, this was just kind of a surprise release, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys in the next one. A1 like the C71 package on the Duramax, yeah you know this shit slapping Boots laced up, bury it to my boot cuts Big tires don't get stuck up on the little ruts Country rap, please don't label this as that I can rap, but I just don't need that crap You can do your best to try to classify me But this shit goes hard for everyone like me Bye, have a beautiful time